Good morning Davao, good morning Mindanao, good morning North, South, East and West. This is Gilbert Lopez Martinez Cazzo. For the headlines, weather forecast through a below pressure area LPA affecting southern Mindanao. Local news, Davao delivery riders push for revenue code changes. Health Aging Ordinance Awaiting IRR Panabo City Mayor Faces Multiple Raps Mayor Vice Gobhoy Declared Persona Non Grata For Calling IPs Tapulan National News Anyo Reiterates Police Military Fool Support for Marcos. Two OFWs injured in UAE flooding. International news. Thousands rally in Spain, Canary Islands against mass tourism. Ukraine aid package could help kill slow Russia's advance. Entertainment news. Netflix, profits soar after password sharing crackdown. Drug club Rampa opens in Quezon City for queer community. For the sports, Chinese Grand Prix 2024. Max Verstappen wins with Lando Norris second. Field goals. Looking for a for the next Philippine striker. Feature story. An insider guide to the best cheese sticks or steaks in Philadelphia. Takbong chabilang. Plus size driver champions body positivity one ride at a time. Side story. And for the trivia, do you know that Davao City is home to Davao Crocodile Park? Here visitors can marvel at various species of crocodiles and learn about their conservation efforts. Weather forecast, Mindanao will have cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms due to true of LPA, low pressure area. Possible flash floods and landslides due to moderate to a times heavy rains. Light to moderate winds from east to northeast with slight to moderate seas. Local news, Eduardo Quijano, spokesperson for the United Davo Delivery Riders Association, UDDRA, stated in a media interview, On Friday morning, April 19, 2024, at Sangguniang Pangungson, that they will be preparing a position letter addressing the necessary amendments to the Revenue Code. They aim to submit this letter to the city council within the next seven days. Mag prepare me og, we will prepare a position letter for uh, the amendments of the 2021 revenue code. Kailangan siya magbago as it needs to be updated. We have five to seven days to prepare, he said. Upon submission, Kihano also said that the letter would be forwarded to councillor Jesus Joseph Susobrado, 
who chair the Committee on Rules, Privileges, Laws, and Ordinances. So Sobrado will then schedule another committee meeting to address the concerns raised by the delivery riders. The Health Aging Ordinance of Davao City is now awaiting the completion of its Implementing Rules and Regulation IRR to begin its enforcement. Davao City 2nd District Councilor Rich Lin and Hustol Bagilod, Chairperson of the Community or Committee on Health, revealed this during Aprobado sa Consejo at Sangguni ang Panunsod on Tuesday, April 16, 2024. Bagilod said that although it was passed on the third and final reading on February 15, 2023, at Health Aging Ordinance has not yet been implemented. However, she said they have already decided their target location for its implementation, which is at Barangay Health Center at Santa Ana. She said that through the ordinance, comprehensive check-up, screening, and therapy would be provided to the senior citizens of Dabo City, focusing on the senior citizens' health. However, People of Dabao or people of ages could also benefit from this ordinance. Panabo City Mayor Jose E. Relampagos faces three cases filed against him by the Sanggunian Panglungsod to the Office of the President. According to the Facebook post by the Panabo City Information Office, CIO, on April 18, 2024, these cases were filed against Mayor Relampagos by Vice Mayor Gregorio U. Duhali III and City Councilor Attorney Devona H. Huma Humamil and elevated them to the OP or Office of the President. As per, op, as per OP, does IAD-23-J-012, does 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 <clears throat> The Sangguniang Panglungsod of Panabo City, represented by Duhali and Humamil, lodged complaints against Relampagos on various grounds, including abuse of authority, dereliction of duty, misconduct in office, conduct prejudicial to the best interest of public service, and conduct unbecoming of a public official. According to Panabo CIO Post, Relampagos received the complaints on April 1, 2024 and expressed reading to face the challenge as a public servant. A tribal council declared Tagum City Mayor Ray Uy and his son, Dabo del Norte Vice Governor Uyu Uy, as persona non grata on Wednesday, April 17, after the former discriminated against the indigenous people, IP, calling them Tapulan, lazy. In a resolution signed by 18 members of the Provincial Tribal Council of Dabao del Norte, composed of leaders from the municipality of Kapalong, Taraingod, New Corilla, San Isidro, Tagum City, and San Tomas, it said that IPs came to the provincial capital governor of the province to express their support to suspended Governor Edwin Hubahib. The tribal leaders along with their members have been stayed at the capital ground since the suspension was issued, although Hubahib continued to defy the order. According to the resolution, Mayor Oi along with Vice Governor Uwe, who is currently serving as acting governor and other officials and government employees visited the area on April 13, 2024. For the national news, National Security Advisor Secretary Edgardo Anio reiterated 
on Saturday, April 20, 2024. The full support of the police and the military for President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. and his administration. In a press conference, National Security Council Assistant Director General Jonathan Malaya said, Anya urged the administration detractors to spare the armed service from politics. Ang panawagan po ng National Security Advisor, Security Eduardo or Secretary Eduardo Anyo is let us insulate our armed forces of the Philippines National Police from partisan political activities. Huwag po natin silang gagamitin because in the, the, the democracy, the armed forces is supposed to be neutral and apolitical. Kahit po sino magpalit-palit ng administrasyon, yan po yung commander-in-chief, said Malaya. Aside from the three killed, two others overseas Filipino workers, OFWs, got injured during the severe flooding that happened in the United Arab Emirates, UAE, earlier this week. According to the Department of Migrants Worker, DMW, there were two OFWs injured, both of whom are males, steaming from the vehicular accident that happened in the sinkhole. They are recuperating from their injuries as reported by Migrant Workers Officers, MWO, Dubai Officers, who were able to visit or to visit them in their hospital's room, said DMW in a statement. Earlier, the DMW reported that the three OFWs died during the severe flooding in UAE. Two female OFWs died from suffocation inside their vehicle at the height of the flooding, while a male OFW died from injuries sustaining from an accident when his vehicle fell into the sinkhole. International News Tens of thousands of people in Spain, Canary Island have relied against a model of mass tourism they say is overwhelming the Atlantic archipelago. The protester wants limits on tourist numbers and curbs on what they describe as uncontrolled development harmful for the environment and residents. They stress they are not against the tourism industry, which makes up which makes up 35% of the Canaries economy. In 2023, 13.9 million tourists visited the seven main, main islands. That is about six times more than the island population of 20 or 2.2 million, officially figures show. The tourism industry also counts accounts from 40% of the archipelago jobs. The biggest markets for the islands are the UK and Germany, although they are also popular destination for mainland Spaniards. President Volodymyr Zelensky has expressed his gratitude to the U.S. House of Representatives for approving a new 61 billion 49 euro package of military assistance for Ukraine after months of delays. He said the aid could save thousands of lives. While it's not uncommon for a country's figure or feature to be decided by politicians, a nation's very existence hinging on a vote of 5,000 miles away is as extraordinary as it sounds. For Ukraine, the six months wait for this military package has been a costly as 
it has been frustrating. Dwindling ammunition has cost its lives and territory. In this period of rare boast for Kiev, this was a VG. The arrival of American weaponry will allow its belligerent troops to do more than hang on, but it's no silver bullet. Entertainment News Netflix says its profit have soared in the first three months of their year, partly thanks to the crackdown on passing or password sharing. The streaming giant said it added 9.3 million customers in the first quarter, bringing its total number of subscribers to almost 270 million. The company also said its profits in the first quarter jumped to more than $2.3 billion, $1.85 euros, billion euros. But the firm will stop reporting key subscribers numbers from next year. Announcing the decision, the firm said, in a letter to stakeholders in our early days, when we had little revenue or profit, membership growth was a strong indicator of our future potentials. After producer turned entrepreneur Raymond R.S. Francisco recently opened his drug club Rampa in Quezon City. He partnered with celebrities Isa Siguera, Boy Abunda, Lisa Dino, and Louis Gini Cabell. According to Francisco, the newly opened bar provides a safe space for queer community, featuring drug performers and offering a friendly environment. It is an exclusive bar where you can let yourself loose start a conversation, drink, and dance with fear and being judged or without fear and being judged he told ABS-CBN news and for the sports Mark Verstappen inhalated the competition to win the Chinese Grand Prix. The Dutchman was in a league of his own again, even over his teammate Sergio Perez in a race punctuated by two midway safety cars in quick succession. Safety cars broke up Red Bull's cruise to a 1-2 finish, shuffling Perez behind McLaren's Lando Norris and Ferrari's Charles Leclerc. The Mexican soon picked off Leclerc, but Norris drove in, a, in an exceptional final stint to hold on the second ahead of Perez. Verstappen underlined his superiority over everyone, including Perez, with a crushing first stint of the race. The world champion converted his pole position into a lead at, a, at the first corner while Perez was passed around the outside by Fernando Alonso's Aston Martin, which started third. It took Perez until lap five to pass Alonso, by which time Verstappen was five seconds up the road. Since Phil, uh, since Phil young husband, retired, after the 2019 AFC Asian Cup, there, has, there hasn't been an actual target, man or striker, whose job is to basically create goals for the Philippine national team. The Philippine men's 
National Football Team has a striker problem. Simply put, there is a lack of actual striker available for the national squad and it was evident in the last few international windows. But this is in an old problem. Featured stories. Jim Papas of Philadelphia, Chistic Challenge, cheers his top spots in town for the world's famous sandwich from the original Pats Kings of Sticks to locals only Cafe Carmela. Known primarily as the birthplace of America and the home of famed Fictional boxer Rocky Balboa. Philadelphia offers many other reasons to visit, like its thriving arts and culture scene or its world class parks. But in the city of the brotherly lab, the only way to satiate hunger cravings is what is with a world famous Philadelphia cheesesteaks sandwich. Thinly sliced beef steak, melted cheese, and stir fried onions stuffed in a long hoagie roll. Philadelphia folklore dictates that local restaurant or restaurateur Pat Oliveri created the steak and onion sandwich and his hot dog cart near Philadelphia's Italian market in 1930. Oliveri soon opened up a restaurant called Pat's Kings of Steaks and a, decide, a decade late, later, manager Joe Lorenzo or Lorenza allegedly added frubolone cheese. Whatever its origin, there are now thousands of locations in around the city that proudly serves Philadelphia's cheesesteaks. We spoke to Jim Papas, the stomach behind the Philadelphia cheesesteaks adventure, to get his insider take on where to eat this iconic sandwich. Plus size rider Kenneth Semera says he tried to promote body positivity while playing his trade as motorcycle taxi driver. Photo from Semera's Facebook page Fu N Chom. Undeterred, the 31-year-old is on a mission not just to transport his passengers' safety but to also push for body possibility or positivity. Semera regularly shares with his 18,000 Facebook followers, his experiences as a rider, including getting comments about his weight as passenger who canceled their rides upon meeting him. For the side stories, let's watch this.
And for the trivia, do you not know that Davao City is home to the Davao Crocodile Park? Here, here, visitors can marvel the various species of crocodiles and learn about their conservation efforts. That's all our news for today. Please like, share, subscribe, and click the bell button for you to be so, to be updated for the news of the Pinoy Rab News Channel. This is Gilbert Lopez Martihi Katso. Good morning.